Hello and welcome to another weekly vlog. It is Sunday afternoon. It's actually five o'clock, so it's more like sat Sunday evening. It is halftime of the football game and I am in the middle of making some homemade chicken noodle soup. It's been cooking up all day. It smells amazing. It is a very hot day today. It's 93 degrees right now. Unfortunately, we're really ready for the fall weather, but this seems to be the peak heat and then it's going to decline. So we're excited about that. Welcome to my week. Here's the recipe I'm using. I make this all the time in the fall and winter, and I've made it on this channel, I mean, probably 10 plus times. As I always say, I leave out the flour at the end because she. this is really homemade chicken and noodles, so it's a thicker consistency, and I prefer it to be chicken noodle soup. So I leave out the flour at the end, and I just use roughly what she does. I usually add more onion, more carrot, more celery, but roughly this is a good, I mean, this is a solid recipe. I just follow it roughly. Does that make sense? I'll leave a link to it below. I just measured out my seasonings. I um, sometimes add in the extra step of softening up the veggies before adding them in. It just gives it a little bit more flavor. So I just have like a tablespoon of butter in there with some salt and pepper. The bones have been simmering. In, we picked the meat off. Riley picked the meat off the chicken. We did like a whole fryer chicken. And the bones have been simmering for the past three or four hours, so we get some really good bone broth. And then we're gonna add the veggies in, add the noodles, and we'll have some delicious homemade chicken noodle soup. Nora's having a hard day today. Oh my goodness, look at these precious pajamas. I got these for Nora. They are Disney, but I got them from Target. I'll leave a link. I thought they were probably going to sell out, so I got them the second I saw them. Um, one of my friends, Maria, Disney Kid at Heart on Instagram posted about them and they also have them in women's sizes. So I ordered a set for myself as well, but only Nora's have come in. But they're these precious, look, I mean, can you even? Little Mickey with a little Mickey driving the Christmas tree truck, Christmas PJs. I mean, just so, so cute. So these are Nora's. I got her in this size 12 months because I figured they would be a little bit boxy and they are so i think these will fit her perfectly throughout the rest of the year riley and i were like oh my gosh she has to wear these on christmas eve they're adorable so i got her those and i got her one other christmas related thing in the mail that i want to show you the other thing that we got her was this little people advent calendar by fisher price so it's an advent calendar and on the back it shows you all the things it's really big because the pieces are really big because it's for babies so it has like large size figurines you can see this cute little girl is playing with them it has little reindeer and each day of advent Nora will get to get a new little toy and she loves little figurines like this she has a set of disney ones that she regularly like moves mickey and goofy and minnie all around the house and she loves carrying them so this is precious. I was so excited to get this for her. Um, it looks like it sells out. Like in previous years, it looks like it's sold out. So I um, wanted to get it really early, even though it's like early October. By the time you're watching this, it's more like mid-October. But I wanted to make sure that we, we got it because it's just a precious, precious, precious little thing. And we're only going to get her just a couple of Christmas gifts. So I thought this would be a fun way to give her a little something each day. Um, and see what she thinks about it. So those are two little Christmassy things that we got for Norny Bug. I'll link, I'll link them both below if you're interested. Hi Nora. If you are not going to make your own homemade noodles, this is the way to go. These taste so delicious and homemade. Highly recommend. They're in the frozen section. They're in the freezer at the grocery store. All right, the soup is finished. How, how yummy does this look? Mm, homemade chicken noodle soup. And then I just made a little ham sandwich with some spicy deli mustard. And this is gonna be dinner tonight. This soup was super delicious as usual and we have six cups left over so we went ahead and packaged it up in these little containers and we're gonna pop them in the fridge and we'll eat this for lunch this week which will be great. Um, these are, containers are the Ziploc brand. You can get them at the grocery store. They're totally leak proof. We really like them. We have them in a couple of sizes and we use these all the time. Nora's playing in the Tupperware cabinet as usual. <laughs> she found one of her bottles and she's just sucking on it. Norny, what are you doing? This is what our Tupperware cabinet looks like. It is a complete disaster. Mostly because of you, Norna, but the, the, to be fair, it's never really been that organized but it's especially not organized since she started playing with it every time we cook. It's okay. 
Wow. Yeah, it's okay. It keeps you happy. Good morning, it's Monday and I'm having almond butter toast with strawberries and bananas and I'm actually having a hot coffee this morning because it's starting to feel more like fall. Nora's having a cut up bagel with cream cheese and some strawberries and Charlie's waiting in the wings in case she drops anything. Hey guys, it's Monday. I don't think I've officially checked in. This morning, Nora's nanny came for a few hours and I was able to go up to Riley's studio and work on my shop and sorting and I have a time lapse of that that you probably just saw. And um, I didn't sleep very well last night and so I'm struggling in motherhood today. <laughs> Nora's going through a big, big growth spurt right now. Um, the past few weeks she's just been so sunshiny and low key and easy and now we're back into the thick of it with a growth spurt and just being, she wants to nurse and then she doesn't. She wants to play and then she doesn't. She wants to sleep and then she doesn't. It's just kind of constant. And I'm usually really patient with her and I just roll with it but today I'm like oh my gosh and she just went down for a nap so I'm really happy to take a little breather I have some strawberry sparkling water and I'm just sitting here basically staring at the wall so I thought I would do a little check-in I realized that one of my biggest triggers in motherhood and honestly one of my probably my biggest trigger just as a human is noise I, it makes me feel so overwhelmed and physically anxious, stressed, frustrated, even angry. I really do not do, do well with loud noises. It's one of the reasons I don't enjoy going to concerts very much um, because they're very loud. And with a baby, you know, who is quickly becoming a toddler and is finding her voice and likes to yell and scream and when she's babbling and, and just talking I love that but like today she's been real whiny and it it is like it's really hard it's really hard it's like definitely like I'm like stop please stop so I just um, FaceTimed my sister and she was having a very similar day with her son she's like I just can't handle the screaming and whining anymore <laughs> and i'm like i know um and so nora just went down for a nap hopefully she takes a solid nap and um i can have a little breather and my patience can be refilled because it's not she's a baby it's not her fault um but i'm just very sensitive to noise and just the whining and whining and whining anyway it's been a good day today it's just been hard because i you know when it, when you're tired everything's hard so there you have it Hello, <laughs> it's probably about six o'clock now, 6.30. We just ran up to Riley's studio to drop something off there. You can see this is my studio where I've been packaging orders for the past couple of weeks. Well, this is where I've been packaging orders for a long time. Um, this has been a long Monday. I think last Monday was a long Monday too. And I'm realizing that perhaps the reason why every Monday is feeling long is because after having Riley home, <laughs> what are you doing? After having Riley at home and enjoying not only his company, but co-parenting, like truly co-parenting throughout the day with Nora, going from that to being solo, I think it's just hard, you know? Hello, good morning. It is Tuesday. I am having a great morning so far which is always a good thing, particularly after yesterday, which to be honest was a little bit of a rough day. Um, I obviously do not pick up the camera when everything's going sideways, but it was just one of those days where it's just like one thing after the other was pretty, pretty tough. I'm trying to find a place to rest this so it's not going all over the place. I just got my eyebrows waxed and tinted, so if they're a little red, that's why, but um, I love getting that done. I feel like it frames your whole face. And I just went, 
Nora's in the back seat. She's about to fall asleep. I'm gonna drive around until she falls asleep and then hopefully transfer her into Riley's studio so I can work for a little bit because our nanny doesn't come today. Um, I went and got coffee this morning at a local shop and then I loaded Nora up in the stroller to go and do that and then I walked over to my esthetician to do my brows and I was just feeling like it was such a fun little small town morning and now I'm about to hop over a few blocks to Riley's studio. So I need to do like an updated Rooted if you've been around since Rooted. Give me a thumbs up. <laughs> That's such a YouTuber thing to say. Um, but I should probably do like an updated video. I have really started to love living here. Yes. Um, there are some things that are still challenging, but there are so many things that I have just fallen in love with. So God can do amazing things. Anyway, I'm gonna drive around until she falls asleep, hopefully, and then go and work for a little while, and I'll check in with you guys later. Hi, Norni. I gave Norni a bath and she took an afternoon nap and now we're having some dinner. And she's having some cut up grapes and ham and a few other things, eating off my plate and whatnot. That's right. I have been working on doing laundry and folding everything, getting ready to put it away. I wipe down the island and then fold my laundry on it almost every time now because it's just a good height for folding. And we've had her playpen over here. It's um, like a pack and play. And we also, um, not we also, and I often drape things that I wanna hang up, like her little clothes and mine, and then at the end I, I move it in there. And today, in the mail, we got these balls. They're off Amazon. They're like plastic ball pit balls, and Riley bought them for Nora, and so we made a little ball pit for her. We actually have an inflatable baby pool that I think would be better, but um, for now we're gonna use this. She had such a great time playing in them this afternoon. So that is what we're up to right now. Good morning and happy Wednesday. It is 9.15 a.m. and Riley just left for work and Nora's nanny is on her way over. She, I think, is coming at 9.30. So she should be here any minute. I know she is. I don't know why I said I think. Um, Riley worked really late last night. Poor guy. He worked until 11 p.m. Um, on... Etsy on getting my Etsy stuff up to date, which I really appreciate. And so I have, from what I can see here, three, but there might be four big boxes of completed garments. So while Nora's nanny is here, I'm gonna go ahead and um, sort them and package them so that I can mail them out today or tomorrow. And um, that'll feel really good to get that done. And then um, this afternoon, I'm not exactly sure. It's supposed to be really nice weather today. So it's been really nice weather for weeks, to be honest. We haven't had like a drop of rain. It's been these beautiful, sunshiny fall days. So we might go take a walk. Nora and I might go take a walk this afternoon, depending. I would love to get outside and do that. Um, something that I've been working on heavily, one of the reasons why I haven't really filmed much this week, that you know anything interesting is because any spare time I have I've been working on getting my mentorship program up and running again so it's now fully functional I'll leave a link below for more information but I've been doing this I think for three years uh, maybe four I mentor women on how to start or grow a YouTube channel, how to start or grow an Etsy shop, and how to start or grow their blogs. I have this on the page that I will link below. The blogging is less of a profit leg of my business these days. Um, it's something that I actually have removed ads off of my site, and I'm just not focused on that. It's not a main business focus for me, Etsy and YouTube in that order are. So I can totally, I still know a lot about blogging. I understand how to start a blog. I understand how to get it up and going and I can help you with uh, marketing it and things like that, but it's not my, my focus. So I'm more well-versed these days in YouTube and Etsy. Anyway, if you want more information or if you want to book a session with me, I have links below. Pricing, all of that will be linked below. Um, just wanted to let you know about that because the last time I mentioned it, I had a lot of interest, um, but I didn't have regular childcare secured and um, obviously that made it impossible. I can't be mentoring people and caring for Nora at the same time. So now while she is with her nanny, I can get on Zoom and chat with some of y'all. So 
I only have sessions open through the end of the year and they are booking up relatively quickly. So if you're interested, go ahead and do that. Um, and if you have any questions, you can always email me specific to this um, Blair Lamb mentorship at gmail.com. I'd be happy to answer any questions that you may have. I didn't mean to get into that sales pitch, but then I just remembered I need to mention that. I don't want to forget. So there you go. I'm going to get some coffee. I'm really, I'm not really tired, but I'm ready for my coffee this morning. And I made overnight oats last night. Oh, I'll show you those. That would be something interesting and different. All right, here are my overnight oats. I also made a little tub of them for Riley. He took them to work with him. So this, there are so many overnight oats recipes. Also, I love these nails. I need to talk to you about those. Um, there are so many. This one is half a cup of oats, half a cup of, we use unsweetened vanilla almond milk, and then we have some cinnamon in there and blueberries and a little syrup. So it's... Um, it's delicious and it's really really filling and you can heat it up or eat it cold you do it the night before and put it in um, the fridge overnight and it basically the oats get basically like waterlogged with the almond milk and they become soft so it's really 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 yummy super easy um, there are 8 million recipes 8 million recipes online for all different types of overnight oats but these have been our favorite lately so I'm gonna eat those and make some coffee Hello. Hello. Look who can climb over the gate if it's not closed. Yeah, you. Norini, are you getting close to walking? She is. She's super close. Her balance is getting better and better every single day. Yay! You want some breakfast too? Hey guys, it's 4.30 now on Wednesday and Nora and I just ran to Walmart. The reason why we ran there, I'm gonna show you what I got because I ended up getting quite a few things and some of them are kind of fun. Um, the reason why I wanted to go is because Walmart sells these tables. They're by the brand Lifetime and they're for four foot tables that they fold in half and you can make them be extra tall. Um, so you can't see it right now, but in here in my front room where I package Etsy orders, I already have one of them and it's a really nice height to stand and work. And with all of the orders that I've been getting lately, I'd like to have some more space. So I got two of those tables. You can get them off Amazon, but they usually take like four to six weeks to arrive. I think I ordered the first one off Amazon, um, but I love them. They're great for like having parties and things like that too. We use it as like the kids table a lot because it's the perfect size or like a drink or dessert table. Um, but I, what I love about it is that since I'm working out of the home, they're collapsible. So during times when I don't need, when I can work out of my office, less busy times of the year, um, I can put them away. So anyway, I got two of those and then I got four bins also for sorting Etsy inventory um, just to have it organized and things like that. Let's get the receipt out of here. So Nora is going to be one in like... 16 days exactly um she is turning one and her very favorite tv show is bluey and she loves these sort of um figurines she has disney figurines just like this so i thought this was super cute bluey so so cute it's a little tv show it's an australian children's show that they play on i guess disney channel the next thing i got are some more of these true lemon and true lime packs these two we're really familiar with. This is the um, cherry limeade and the watermelon limeade. These are made with stevia and they're really, really good. We drink them a whole lot. Um, we're not drinking pretty much any sugary drinks right now. Um, so these are great. And then I've never seen these before. These are marketed as kids, but they are fruit punch and blue raspberry. Now I won't be giving these to Nora, but I liked the idea of two new flavors. So I got those. So Four of those, that should last us a little while. I got one of these OxyClean um, sticks. This is a laundry stain removal stick. I usually like this spray, but they were out, so I got this. I got a white um, tank top. And Nora's birthday's coming up, like I said, and we're having a small family party, so I got some plates, and these are really cute. Gold happy birthday napkins. I also got her some, well, I got this for her, but also for my niece, um, Zoe, who turns 
five tomorrow. Wow. I can't believe she, she is turning five. Um, so this is really cute, like blush pink with little cakes on it. And then this one is just different polka dots and there's little goldy ones. I thought those would be cute. We're only gonna get Nora just a couple of birthday gifts because she's turning one. Um, but those bluey figurines were too cute to pass up. Also for my niece, um, she is a baby doll lover. She loves her baby dolls and she has a bitty baby and she plays with her bitty baby 24 seven. So I actually, I'll have to show you, I ordered off of Etsy these beautiful, precious, handmade, um, bitty baby clothes. So I got her like a baby, baby doll sleeper and then a baby doll tea dress. That's like a Navy blue with little, I think it has like little swans and ballerinas on it or something. It is so cute. I'll have to show you later. So to go with that gift of those two outfits that I bought off Etsy, um, I bought her these little baby diapers. I used to love stuff like this when I was a kid, little fake baby diapers to put on my baby dolls. I got some forks for Nora's party. These I've talked about definitely before. This is that Muckluck brand um, of slippers and I buy a new pair every fall because since I work from home, I wear them all day, every day through the fall and winter. So by the time it gets to the end of them, they are nasty and trashed and they need to go. And so I get a fresh pair every year. So I wear a size nine, but I always get the 11, 12 because I like them to be oversized. I hate the feeling of my toes being constricted, like one of my least favorite feelings. I can't stand it. Um, these are super, super comfy. I like the booty style that, you know, they stay on your feet when you're moving around. They keep your feet really warm. And this is kind of like a pink, is that like chenille? Is that how you would describe them? It says made from recycled plastic. Yes, chenille booty. Oh, I'm a, I am a textile expert. <laughs> um, some balloons for Nora's party. I, um, I'm going to blow them up and like put them in her crib and take a picture. You know how people do. Um, my mask that I took off once I loaded this stuff in the car. I thought I would give this a go. Um, I don't really buy, I feel like this pre-packaged, like pre-made baby food is just like such a marketing ploy because you can pretty much feed babies any of the food that you're eating, pretty much. Um, so that's usually what I do. But I thought this looked good for mornings when, um, her nanny's here and I can get into work and she can feed her. So I just thought I would give it a try and if Nora likes it, I'll buy some more of the flavors. But it is this grain and grow morning bowl. So I guess it's like organic quinoa, oats, tropical fruits. I don't know. We'll see. Um, and then I got, so Nora pulls on necklaces. So I got two cheap necklaces. They were both seven bucks, seven ninety two, so like eight bucks. Um, but I also got this, which I have been eyeing it like the past three times I've gone to Walmart. Okay, listen, if you never go to Walmart, like I, before I moved here, I always went to Target because I preferred Target to Walmart. And then I moved to this small town and Target is about 40 minutes away and Walmart is about 10 minutes away. And so we just always go to Walmart if we can. And that's where we do grocery pickups. So we end up being there a lot. And I used to have such like a stigma in my eyes about it. And I love it. And in fact, the past couple of times I've gone to Target, I've been like, this is so overrated. Like Walmart has just as good as stuff for cheaper. Um, there are certain things that I prefer from Target, like home decor items. I feel like Target has a better selection of things that I I'm drawn to but if you've never been to Walmart like if you haven't been in a long time and you haven't been into their clothing like you need to go they have some cute clothes and it's so affordable like it's great for if you just want like a few fall pieces or a few winter or summer pieces they have really cute PJs stuff like that so all that to say I've been eyeing this for the past few times I've gone it is this you can tell this like really pretty mustardy yellow color. I got it with obviously fall in mind. It's sort of longer and it has, it's a little longer in the back and it has a slit and it's sort of like a distressed, the wash of it is like kind of distressed. You can see that. Um, since I wear leggings or like skinny jeans or kind of like a jegging style, you know, like a jean with a lot of stretch every day, things like this, like oversized sweatshirt kind of things are a really good fit for me um, during the fall and winter months because I can still move in them. They're warm, but they're not too hot. And this is on the inside. It's not like fleece. It's more of like a um, terry cloth kind of, you see that? So it's like that kind of cozy beach jumper feel. 
I also thought I might wear this for Nora's birthday party um, with like a pair of jeans and booties and like do my hair and then I thought I would wear one of these necklaces so it's like kind of casual but a little bit dressed up. Um, and I want it to be fall colors because her birthday is on October 30th. So I have this. I also have another sweater from also from Walmart that is equally as cute and it's like a copper color. Um, so it's probably between the copper and this mustard um, for her birthday. But I got this necklace. I thought this was pretty. And I wanted to buy some cheap necklaces. Did I already say this? Because Nora rips. She is quick and she'll just snatch. And so it makes me nervous right now wearing some of my nicer jewelry or even jewelry that's not nice, but it's like more, you know, maybe 30 bucks or something like that. It's, you know, might not be solid gold, but it was like a higher price point because she'll probably ruin it. <laughs> so I thought this was really cute and it comes, let me hold it up with this because this is kind of what I was thinking, but also, um, is my lighting, it seems really, there we go. See, kind of pretty. pretty like neutral tones and then the cord of it is like a like a natural see that I thought that was cute those two could go together that could be really cute actually I like that so that's what I got at Walmart it was fun nice to walk around and there you have it so while I'm on the subject, I thought I'd show you the few different things I have bought for Nora's party. So I got her this little topper that's a pumpkin that says one, and that's from Etsy. I'll link it. And this is a high chair banner that you put around the high chair when they're doing the little cake smash. And it's in all the colors. I got this off Amazon. It was like 10 bucks, I think. Um, and um, these are the colors that I'm doing. I'm doing like an orange kind of a you know, lighter pink or white and then hot pink. So here's some streamers that I bought. And then this is kind of hard to tell because it's in here. Um, oh, that says newborn. I'm like, what month is that? Um, it's, they say each of the months and then you string them together. So it will say one month, two months, three months. And then you put a picture of her growing and you can hang it up as a little banner. So those are the few things that I've bought for her party so far. Um, I need to add that little bluey kit over here so I remember to wrap that I'm not gonna forget but you know first of all let's talk about this little shrine that's set up in my office um, so this these are the PJs I showed the other day in the advent calendar and then like I said I bought myself matching women's PJs I haven't tried them on yet I don't know if I'm gonna keep them they are they're really soft they're like a very thin flannel -y fleece but they're very 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 thin um, so I'm going to try them on and see if it's realistic if I ever would really wear them if not then at least Nora will have these which will be really cute and over here here are those I'm being really quiet because Nora's nursery shares a wall with this room and she's in there asleep um, Elizabeth Long from the shop Elizabeth 1443 these are her beautiful beautiful little things that she makes for the bitty babies isn't this sweet it's a little tea dress with a little bow they all she also had precious outfits for american girl dolls so um i'll leave a link if you have daughters or nieces or friends or whatever who love bitty babies or american girl dolls that's a little tea dress i got for zoe for her baby doll and then this is the little sleeper isn't this cute these were about $10 each, which I thought was really reasonable considering American Girl doll prices are so, so high. Um, and then I got this. So I'll wrap both of these and probably stack them and put a big bow on it. And that will be my niece's um, birthday gift. Her birthday's tomorrow. Here's the current state of affairs in the front room. Um, just lots of stuff everywhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to put all three of those tables, like this one. I already had this one and then I bought two more one two three so i have one long workspace which should be a lot easier so i'm going to go ahead and do that now okay so sad sad day <laughs> these two do not go up as high as my existing one you see my existing one has like the the top notch that you can put it the highest notch you can put it at is all the way here and this one is all the way down there so I guess I really only need one tall one to actually package orders at and the other ones are probably fine for sorting on 
I really, really was hoping for them all to be as tall as this one because it's so much easier on my back. Oh well, I'm disappointed because I was imagining something different, but it's really not that big of a deal. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to work with these, see what happens. If I feel like they're not working, I'll return them and order off Amazon two more of these. If I feel like they're fine, then I'll just roll with it. Okay, so there you have it. One large table with two different tiers. <laughs> Look at these two cuties. Yeah, Riley's like giving Nora the chance to try Honey Barbecue Ranch. <laughs> what do you think? She loves anything you give her. She's, such she's a good eater. She is a really good eater. Tonight she's having some chicken, some Honey Barbecue Ranch with um, cucumbers and some strawberries. Babies aren't supposed to have one um, honey before the age of one, but I'm sure this is fine, right? There's probably not even real honey in it. Better be real honey. <laughs> Riley got a haircut today. Looks good. Hi, Norny Bug. Are you eating? She really is liking this cucumber. You dipping like, it? I think it's a good texture for her to. She can kind of gnaw on it. Are you dipping? Cold. You're a big girl. Yeah. So I was trying to tell her how great dipping food into dips is. Just trying to explain it. To yeah, her. that's something you haven't talked about on YouTube for a while. Oh, I'm on Weight Watchers. <laughs> <laughs> these are really good though these bold house farms yeah they're made with yogurt but they taste i mean really good the ranch is really really good That's, i like that one better than oh, they have a salsa ranch too i want to try you like this one better mm -hmm. she did that so smart i have the air fryer going i'm making air fryer pot um potato fries nope carrot fries we just take baby carrots and put like Parmesan, salt, pepper, paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, and toss them in it. A little bit of olive oil, like a small drizzle, and then toss it and then stick them in here for like 25 minutes, 400 degrees, and they are delicious. They taste like real fries, but they're just carrots. And then I made some air fryer chicken. I'll leave the recipe below. Here they are all finished. They are so, so yummy. Don't fall, Maggie. Don't fall into the... Ah! <laughs> oh, you got married in them. <laughs> Good afternoon from my front porch. I have about 300 garments and about 100 orders going out today for Etsy. So that is what I've been working on all morning. It is about 1.30 p.m. I actually had a grocery pickup from 12 to 1, but Nora's sound asleep and I'm not waking her up. Our wonderful nanny was here this morning um, and she got Nora down for a nap and Nora's still asleep. And then while Nora was napping, she helped me package all of those orders and it, she is just working out so wonderfully. In fact, I she and I synced our calendars and I have her scheduled through the end of 2020. So through the end of the year, I have regular help. It is such a load off of my shoulders. Um, I'm just so grateful for her. I'm so grateful that it's worked out. There's Nora crying waking up. It's, it's about time. She's been sleeping for like almost two hours. So we're going to go pick up groceries and um, I've got my It's the Little Things tea on from my Etsy shop, of course. And I'm gonna unload the groceries and then I do need to run up to Riley's studio to sort. We'll see what kind of mood Nora is in. If she's in a pretty contented mood, I'll probably bring her up there with me. If not, I'll wait until tomorrow when the nanny's here and then that's when I'll go. Hi, Norny. Did you have a good little nappy, my precious angel? Show everyone your super adorable Minnie Mouse little sweatshirt. Yeah, it's from Target. Did you have a good nap? You seem like you did. Yeah. All right, let's get you changed and we're gonna go pick up groceries. Does that sound fun? Okay, okay. We just finished making dinner and we're sitting down to eat it. So we did baked potatoes in the air fryer which um, 400 degrees for about 50 minutes. And Riley made filet mignon and we have a little chopped salad. And Nora, Nora's waking up from her nap. She took a late nap today. <laughs> so when she wakes up, she's going to get to eating too.
Good morning, it's Friday, let there be light. Wow, that was a lot of light. Um, I'm letting Charlie out and um, I just got myself dressed. Oh, and hey, I'm wearing this um, mustardy kind of sweater sweatshirt that I bought at Walmart the other day and the necklace and I think it's really cute. I think it's really cute. So, we got that going for us. Um, my, my nanny, Nora's nanny will be here in just a couple of minutes. And I have my first meeting with a mentee of 2020 because I've had this mentorship program on hold. Would you like something to eat, my princess? Um, for the past year while I have had a baby, I still have a baby, but she's getting older and we have a nanny, so I'm able to resume. So I'm meeting this morning. I'm really looking forward to it. I love mentorship. I absolutely love it. So I'm really looking forward to that. So welcome to our Friday. Hey y'all, it's about 1.30 now and Nora and I just finished lunch. She's on the floor playing with some of Riley's coffee filters. And um, our nanny left and I had a great session with a mentee. Super, I just really, really, really enjoyed doing that. So I'm glad to be getting back into it. I'm out of breath because I was just mopping the floor because Nora spilled a bunch of stuff all over it. <laughs> um, but anyway, it is Friday afternoon. It doesn't feel like a Friday. We're gonna head up to Riley's studio here in just a minute so I can finish a few things that I wanna finish before the weekend. And um, then we're gonna head into, head into the weekend. Hey guys, we just finished dinner. We're sitting, well, we're standing in our closet right now, which is still so organized from when I organized it way back when. But what I wanted to show you, let me pull this down because I put them all in here, is um, that I purchased a whole bunch of these Dashing Diva nail polish strips. I think I got eight of them. Um, these are from the same company, this Dashing Diva company that I put my nails on in last week's vlog. I just, I was like, I wasn't really anxious. I was just thinking about something yesterday. And I have a terrible habit of when I'm thinking I pick my nail polish off. Mm -hmm. So I didn't even really realize I had done it. Um, and actually I think two of these are the same and I didn't really mean to order. Yeah, this red velvet, these are both the same. So, um, I got these, is it eight? Yeah, I got eight of them and, um, I, because I ordered them directly from the website because I absolutely loved those ones that I used. They're my favorite nail polish strips I've ever tried. They are like a thicker gel than any other nail polish strip that I've ever used. And they stayed on, in t they stayed on without chipping at all until I, you know, anxiously peeled them off yesterday. <laughs> um, so this is something I have been, these are two different colors, although they're very, very similar. You can tell that they're a little bit different. Um, I have been wanting to get back into having my nails done um, more regularly just because it makes me feel so much more polished and it's a really easy way to feel more polished. But I'm really excited about these and I will definitely continue to give updates. But I just want you to know that I liked the, the pack that I bought so much from Walmart, um, which is in a different packaging. And the ones that I bought from Walmart, let me grab them actually so I can show you while I'm talking about them. Okay, so it came in a package that looks like this from Walmart. Um, but the ones that I had on last week, if you remember, if you saw last week's weekly vlog, they looked like this. So they had this gold, um, little bit of gold down at the cuticle and then I had like an accent nail on and although it's like a really pretty set it's a little bit more blingy than my style um and same with this one I mean I like I like them but these are this is like a lot more me just something that's a little bit more simple and um you know just one color is kind of more my more my style personally. If I can find a discount code for y'all, like a referral code, I'll definitely leave one because um, that would be mutually beneficial, but I don't think they have that. So I was looking for it when I ordered it. Life with a baby. All right, I'm gonna do my nails. I ended up deciding on this rose quartz color. That's what it's called. Here's what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and put these little dashing diva strips on my nails. All 
All right, I just finished. So here is what they look like. They look pretty good, right? I mean, it took me 10 minutes in real time. But what I didn't show you was prepping my nails, so filing them down and washing them and then using um, nail polish remover to get all the oil off your nails so that these stickers will adhere better. And then you just pick a size, put it on your nail. I like to use little um, nail scissors to trim the excess, which is what's all over here. And then use the edge of the um, emery board to file the rest down. So I think those look really pretty. I really like this rose quartz color. And I still have so many left over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So definitely enough for two manicures. So I feel like that's, you know, cause I just did 10 and then if I have that many, I have enough to do one more. Pretty awesome, and I think that's really pretty. I really like that for fall. So, just wanted to show you my Dashing Diva update. Good morning, guys. It's Saturday now, and I just finished up meeting with two different mentees on a video mentorship session. So I had a really fun morning, and now I'm gonna go enjoy some family time with Riley and Nornor. So, I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here. Thanks so much for following along with this week. I would love if you would give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel for more. YouTube comments have been weird lately, so they may be disabled on this video until they get resolved. It's been kind of funky, um, and so, just so you know. But anyway, I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching.